Hello everyone. This is a little project I've soldered together over the last three days. As you can see it's quite complicated. It took a lot of time. Especially this uh, LED uh, matrix. This here is... Uh, it's quite complicated. But it works, luckily. This is the uh, well-known uh, 81 LED chaser circuit, which you can find uh, all over the internet. Anyone interested in uh, electronics and LED displays will be uh, familiar with this circuit. It uses a single NE555 uh, pulse generator to feed two CD4017 chips, which in turn turn on these LEDs. Uh, normally this is all it does, just this chaser thing. The speed of which you can vary with this potentiometer. But I had a thought, what if you introduce a second pulse generator? You should get more interesting patterns that way. So that's what I did. Underneath all these wires here is a second uh, NE555. And it's, uh, the speed of this can be varied with this uh, potentiometer. And I've made a little animation showing you um, what I mean and how it should work. Okay, here we are. This is uh, the normal function of this circuit with just one pulse generator. The pulse goes into the chip and makes it shift one, uh, one row. And then the tenth pulse goes into the second chip and makes it shift uh, to the next column. And so it goes on and on. And now we switch over and introduce the second pulse generator. And now both chips pulse at the same time or at different speeds introducing all sorts of variations and that's how you get these uh, diagonal lines and all these different patterns you can vary the speed of both pulse generators and make them interact with each other that makes for a much more interesting circuit So if I now click the switch and turn on the second NE555, this is what happens. See? Now it goes all over the place, diagonally, diagonally, diagonally. You can, uh, of course, combine the speeds of the two in all sorts of ways. Make it produce all sorts of cool patterns. It reminds me a bit of a television screen. See? Now that makes this circuit a lot more interesting, don't you think? So why not experiment with this? I've made a, uh, a schematic available. You can download it uh, from the link below. And uh, try it out. It's a lot of fun. Alright, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.